The sixth eruption of the Sorsengi volcanic system in the Reckonus Peninsula of Iceland was one of the most powerful ones. There was a lot of pressure build up and the fountains of the lava could rise to 170 to 200 meters high. Then we had to wait a long time for the next eruption to happen. More than two months passed and the pressure buildup was huge. I expected that this happened in the 22 to 24th of the November. It happened in the 21st, so I was close. And then this is what we saw. It was not very powerful as the previous ones, but it created three craters, the north, middle and south. And uh, middle and south died back after a while. But last night they came back. I was watching it. It lasted something close to three hours, something between two to three hours. An outburst happened from the middle one. And the middle one took over. Practically the north one ceased. And then the south one also uh, started to rub the little one spattering in the right. This was a huge amount of the lava suddenly coming in a burst of the eruption. It dragged itself to the night and then as it dwindled we saw that the north one again took over and came back to full power. This was amazing to watch and it reminded us that this eruption is different from what we had. Our chart shows that the uh, eruption volume in this uh, eruption is actually the second largest so far just before the sixth one but the duration of it is among probably one of the shortest ones so far we have seen fourth in the shortest ones and definitely not one of the longest of course it's continuing we have to wait and see but so far it is just 10 days around that uh, time that this uh, eruption has happened but it already has covered a lot of land. The area is covered is around 10 square kilometers. Thickness of the lava, 5 meters. It has invaded the Blue Lagoon the car park and part of the berms. It creates a lot of light pollution, which is spreading uh, mostly toward the east and south. And that makes the risk assessment a little bit uh, different. With the wind direction toward the south, the Swartzing itself, which had a very high uh, risk of the uh, gas pollution, is now reduced to considerable. But uh, the central axis of this uh, uh, area is actually continues to be a highest risk. We are already seeing the signs for the next cycle of the eruption and the magma built up has already started. The situation gets worse, I think.